Hello guys, I am Japanese Food Navigator Takeo. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to Squid Ikizukuri Sashimi Seafood at Underwater Restaurant Mambo Karatsu Saga, Japan. The other day, my family visited an underwater restaurant. The most famous one in the world is in Maldives, but there's also an underwater restaurant in Saga Prefecture, Japan. As we drove along, the sea came into view. Here, at underwater restaurant Mambo, you can enjoy freshly caught squid dishes. Okay, here we go. Since it was an underwater restaurant, I crossed the long bridge. That made me really excited. I was going down the stairs as if I were going underwater. Inside the restaurant, it was like being in an aquarium. Each seat had a small window so that I could enjoy a meal while watching the fish swimming in the sea. The menu is a smartphone ordering system. Each smartphone reads a QR code and you place and pay for your order from your own smartphone. Once the order is placed, the food is brought to you by the restaurant staff. The restaurant employs this kind of IT-based system, and it sounds very convenient because you can order from your own smartphone and there's no need to download an app. The same QR code can be scanned by multiple people, so there's no need for multiple people to look through the menu list. I ordered the Ikazanmai course in Japanese, which means Squid Special Course. This is the most popular course at this restaurant. This includes squid ikizukuri, steamed squid dumpling, squid tempura, seasoned rice with squid, and dessert. The restaurant provides other courses including the flounder course, sea bream course, and yellow tail course, as well as the wide selection of sashimi, alicato dishes, and rice balls. We also ordered some other dishes including squid sashimi, sea bream, and amberjack sashimi and it is a luxury course that allows you to enjoy all three delicacies at once. The price was about 33 US dollars or 4,400 yen for one course. This is rather expensive compared to a lunch prices in Japan but since we were on vacation we decided to order. We placed our order and waited for our food to be delivered. In the meantime, I looked out the window at the ocean. These fish were not farmed. They were wild fish that actually swam in the sea. All I could think was the squid dish, but the children were looking out the small window of the ocean with sparkling eyes. <laughs> The first dishes were brought to us. I was surprised at how quickly it came after ordering. The appetizer is seaweed mozuku, and this was the famous steamed squid dumpling. Ordinary steamed dumplings are made of meat, but this was made of squid with no beef, pork, or chicken. When dipped in ponzu, Japanese sauce made of soy sauce and vinegar, the richness and sweetness of squid can be fully felt from the softy minced surimi, and I enjoyed the unique firm texture that were different from that of ordinary steamed dumplings made with meat. It was very tasty. Squid is a delicate seafood that will not last a day in its raw state, even if the restaurant tries to use it up they may end up with some leftover. The chef's desire not to waste squid led to the creation of steamed squid dumpling. Next was finally the main course, squid sashimi. The squid was beautiful and transparent. It was still twitching as if it were alive. The squid's fins had chromatophore cells connected to thin muscles, and the chromatophore seemed to flicker, and the flesh at the muscles stretched and contracted. You may have felt it cruel to eat the squid alive, but in fact, it was no longer alive. Instantly, 
if you touch the sucker with your fingers, you can enjoy the sucking sensation. As I learned later, the squid in the area are brought to the restaurant after being landed and kept swimming in the cattle filled with fresh seawater. This prevents ammonia from accumulating in the squid's body, which helps keep the squid's flesh clear. The squid's natural sweetness is not broken down by the ammonia but remains in the water, bringing out its natural flavor. Next came rice soup and pickles. One cup of rice can be refilled for free. Then the squid tempura arrived. It also came with tempura sauce and grunted radish. The combination of the plump squid meat and the crispy, savory batter was perfect. And of course, it was crispy and not greasy. I could eat it as much as I liked. When dipped in the tempura sauce with grunted daikon Japanese radish, the flavor of broth soaked into the squid, giving it a different taste. At the end of the course, seasonal fruits were served at the dessert to refresh the mouth. The total price was about 157 US dollars or 20,000 yen. It was satisfying. Here's Yubiko, a port town blessed with seafood. It's known as one of the best fishing grounds in Japan and is especially famous for squid. Local Saga residents always introduce this restaurant to people from outside the prefecture when they come to visit and tell them about the attractiveness of Saga prefecture. In my opinion, this is a spot that foreign tourists can also enjoy. You can go there by public transportation, not by private car or rental car. If you go there by bus, take a local bus and get off at Yubiko Ohashi Bridge, and it takes about two minutes to walk there. If you tell the bus driver when you get on the bus that you want to go to the underwater restaurant in Mambo in advance, he may stop the bus at the entrance of the parking lot. So, if you are thinking of going there in the future, please refer to this information. According to the official website, the structure of the restaurant looked like this, allowing diners to truly dine in the ocean. Strictly speaking, the restaurant is actually treated as the ship by law rather than a building. The maximum number of people on board is limited to 271. Therefore, if you go during the busy season, you will have to wait your turn. It is recommended to go as soon as the restaurant opens. We were there just after the restaurant opened, and it was already crowded with customers. The restaurant is so popular that some menu items are sold out if we arrive even a little late. Freshness is the most important factor for squid. You can eat fresh squid caught by fishermen. The squid available diners. The squid available differs depending on the season and on this day. Big fin reef squid were served. Some days you need to be lucky cause there are days when fishermen can't catch the squid. But fortunately, I was lucky today. Okay, that's all for today. It would be appreciated if you would subscribe to this channel and see other my videos. Bye! This channel has introduced many fascinating Japanese foods. So please subscribe to the channel and see other videos if you are interested.